Now, last Sunday, she was nominated for a Golden Globe for her magnificent performance as Billie Holiday, and this happened. And the Golden Globe goes to... <laughs> Please welcome Golden Globe winner Andra Day. There she is. I'm so happy you're here. Congratulations on the other night. Uh, that looks such fun. Has it all sunk in yet? I don't know that it has fully sunk in. I think I just keep repeating the words. It goes to Andrew Day in my head, and then my mind's like, error, error. You know, <laughs> it's just so crazy. So, I don't know. We're still just riding the high and the wave of it. It's just, it's incredible. But then, the next day after that ceremony, you got this, which is almost as good as the award. This is a bouquet <laughs> of flowers with a note that says, you make us all so proud. A huge congratulations. <laughs> Love Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. I think it was so funny. My mom told me when she opened the card, she was telling my cousins, she was like, guess who this is from? And they were like, you know, guessing people. So she opens it, and then she said she had to close it back really quick, like to hide from her name. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I've actually gotten beautiful flowers, and I was going to put this up, too, from... Naomi Campbell from, you know, Viola Davis. I just, just these women that I love and admire, they inspire me so much. So it's just, it's amazing to just see this community of these beautiful, just women and particularly black women supporting each other. It's so great. And you are so deserving of all the praise Thank that's you. coming your way for this performance. For anyone who hasn't caught up with the movie yet, tell everybody what it's about. Yes, please. So, um... The movie is called The United States versus Billie Holiday, and that it's exactly what it says in the title. That was the name of the case. And it really is the story of Billie Holiday singing a song called Strange Fruit, which was an anti-lynching song. It was about racial terror, lynching in America, um, the culture of lynching in America. Uh, and so she was putting this mirror up to, to America and the government, you know, they didn't want um, to her to be singing this song. They didn't want her to be emboldening uh, people and they didn't want her to be integrating audiences. She was really fighting for equality, for integration, and to stop the racial terror. And um, and so she was actually doing this on her own pre-civil rights. She really reinvigorated the civil rights movement. Thurgood Marshall and the great civil rights leaders we knew that came after her. Uh, so they the, and the entire government put all of their forces and they created this war on drugs, something that we're familiar with now. Uh, to go after Billie Holiday and to silence her and to stop her from singing this song, really unto her death. Um, and they used addiction to to do it. Uh, so she, it, it's it's really a story about a, a, the strength of a beautiful black queer woman and her fight and her standing up to the government. So Lee Daniels did an incredible job. Susan Lori Park's amazing script, Johan Hardy's story. It's, it was a blessing to be part of. Now, this was your first ever acting role. And I read that you you've been hesitant to even call yourself an actor, with all of these accolades and things that are coming your way, do you feel more confident saying that you're an actor now? You know, I listen, Lee's so funny, because Lee and my co-stars, Trey and Tyler, they're always just like, you need to stop saying you're not an actress. Like, you need, you're, you're an actress, you're, you're an actor, you're, you know, and so I kind of, at first was like, okay, now I'm getting to a point where I was like, you know, maybe I feel like it, but then I had the thought of me going on set again and being in another movie, and I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> really? So I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's like, you know, just who, who knows? I don't know. I, I receive it, and I receive all, everything, all the love that everybody's giving, but, you know, it's just, I feel like I'm, I'm an artist. We always feel like this. Like, what does Erica Badu say? I'm sensitive about my <laughs> Do you think, I'm sort of, I'm interested to know, do you think that the experience of playing Billie Holiday in this film, doing this, has, has affected the way that you're going to make your next album? Like, do oh, you absolutely. think it's bled into how you think about your music? Yeah, no, and I, I will say, we're, we're actually... Um, the album is coming June 4th, actually, so it, it has bled. Rather than it will bleed, it right. has bled and probably will continue because we were making the record while I was sort of dropping into character and we were preparing for this movie. And so you will see, you see her DNA on the record, um, not just sonically, but also just 
the things that she says and the way in which she says them. You know, pre Billie Holiday, I would say I'm more of like a polite, you know, oh, don't want to upset people. Post Billie Holiday, it's like you either like it or you don't. You know what I mean? So it's just she's the way she says things, the things that she says. I mean, or the way I say things, I guess, and the things that I say, it, it, it has definitely shifted. It's a little edgier. It's a little less apologetic. Um, yeah, it's a little more Billy, <laughs> definitely. Well, you I'm can't help it. You have to, you know. I'm really excited for that.